So you've just hit your approach shot, just short of the green. Now, this has given you a really, really awkward shot. A lot of people struggle from this uh, area because it's not a chip shot, is it? And it's not a full swing. So the question is, is what do you do? Well, most people, unfortunately, they grab out their chipping action and they just simply try to hit it harder. Or worse still, they take a full swing and try and do a kind of almost like a miniature version, a slowed down version, and that never works either. In this video, what I'm gonna show you is, is what changes you need to make in order to get this beautifully high floating shot that lands softly on the green and stops next to the flag. And I'm gonna do all of that in just three very, very simple steps. So before I give you the three steps, let me just introduce you to the bounce. The bounce on your golf club, everyone has it, okay? If you put, your, I've got a 56 degree wedge here, Callaway Jaws wedge, look, and I have a 10 degrees bounce on this club. What that basically is, is this. When I put that club vertically upwards like this, I've got a leading edge here, but this bit here is below the leading edge. This angle here between the leading edge and that is the bounce. That is what you're gonna have to use if you wanna become a great pitcher. Let me explain, come and have a look at this. So, when you come into a shot, when you come into a power shot off the fairway, your club is gonna come in, strike the ball with the, actually the bounce off the ground, the loft is de-lofted, and that ball is gonna come off like a rocket. That is where power comes from. But when we're pitching, we don't want the ball to come off like a rocket. We want it to come up with a beautifully soft floating shot. So in that situation, we, use, we don't want this bit hitting the ground, we want the base of the club hitting the ground. So, this is a power shot, bang, it's gonna dig in. We want, look, the base of the club to glide through this, on the slide under the golf ball. So you'll notice a huge difference in terms of the impact uh, condition compared to that look of a full shot. That is what we're gonna explain how to use. I'm gonna show you how to do that in three steps with setup first. Let's get started. So as I said, this is not a full swing. It is not a chip shot, it is a pitch shot, and therefore the setup is different, okay? This is how it is different. Now, with a full swing, we have a wide stance. We stand a reasonable distance from the ball. Why? Because we try to generate power and aggression through that shot. With pitching, it's all about control. So here's some of the things we need to make sure we change. The first thing we're gonna do, look, I've got 45 yards here, right? So it's a real awkward distance. My stance is about two club widths apart with my toe pointing outwards. When I place the, uh, the club down, I place it, look, with the shaft comes fairly neutral here. There's not a lot of shaft lean, unlike you would do see with a full swing. Not a lot of shafting, why? Because I wanna look after the bounce. I've got 10 degrees of bounce on. If I start to move the shaft forward too much, I've then showing that I've taken all that bounce off and that leading edge look is gonna dig in and fat. So I keep that bounce on by keeping that shaft fairly neutral from your angle. The other thing I do is this. I push my ball position, look, a little bit more off my left heel here, why? Because I want the club to bottom out actually just behind the golf ball. I want it to glide through the shot and go underneath the ball. I don't want to have the ball back in my stance so I strike the ball first and compress it. I don't want that ball coming off hot. Really, really important. So ball position's forward, I've got the shaft neutral. The other thing how this differs from a full swing is this. My triceps are really close to my body. They come really close. Why? Because I don't want power. With a full swing, I've got a bit more width here to allow my arms freedom to generate speed. With pitching, I don't want you, want, I don't want you to do that. I want your triceps nice and close to your body here. Now look, we keep them close on the way back and on the way through. This is what's gonna give you that beautiful, beautiful floating pitch shot. That's gonna land really softly and give you a great chance of making birdie or saving your par. So now let's get into how, or the action itself, in step number two. So the action for a pitching is very, very different to that of a full swing. With a full swing, we have an, a very aggressive move into the shot here. The hips start to unwind here, leaving the torso behind. This then creates this snap through the shot. You do not want that with a pitch shot like this, okay? Instead, we want this calmer, beautiful, softer motion. Almost like I want you to imagine and picture this, the grandfather clock with going tick, tock, tick, tock. And very similar, as this club look hits the bottom, that's how we want to strike the ball. That's how I want you to strike the golf ball. But also I want you to imagine that rhythm too. Just picture that for a second. 
We've got ourselves set up, the ball's forward, our weight's just favoring our lead side by about 55%, right? Triceps are nice and close to our bodies, much closer than we would be for a full swing, but not as close as we would be for maybe a basic chip shot. And then what we do is we start making some small swings. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. And I'm allowing the base of this club here, the base of the club, to bruise and just hit the ground. If I was to, at this stage, drive my handle, look at the mark I've just taken in the ground there. This is when the handle gets driven. That is no longer tick, tock. That is turning this into a drive. And I've, we've just taken all that wonderful bounce that you've set up, set up with a, a dress has all disappeared. And that leading edge is now digging in. So before we kind of go into it, in a sense, um, Step three, let's nail this bit where we're literally you get the balance of the club working in a tick tock fashion. We don't want to get tick and then rush this impact, okay? So start with that first, get yourself set, balls forward. Imagine triceps are gonna be the thing that's gonna control this motion back. No drive of the hips, just allow everything to kind of pivot look through the impact area. My hips are going through, my chest is going through, and I'm imagining a beautiful tick tock rhythm. Tick. Talk. And we look at that one there, and it's come up a little bit shy. Was the strike perfect? Yes, it was. So the question is, how do I hit that just a little bit further? I don't want to change that lovely TikTok rhythm. All I do is increase the width of my stance, just slightly here, extend my length of my swing just a bit more, but keep that rhythm going backwards and forwards in a tick-tock. What I don't do to, to hit it further is hit it harder. I want to keep that rhythm so this club under gravity just falls down naturally. Tick-tock. Goes a little bit further, lands a little bit softer, okay? So, find the rhythm, Look after that setup you started with. Now let's move on to step number three, but I've got a special bonus one at the end, which you must stay tuned for. So step number three, and I'll introduce this bonus tip inside this one as well, because it really, really helps my students. So step number three, ultimately here is this. Check your finish position. Your finish position doesn't lie. When I'm swinging here and I'm letting this club or the bounce of the bases club look bruise the ground, I'm checking for, am I taking a big divot? No, great, that's a good sign. Now where's my finish and where's your finish? So when I'm pitching here, notice where the butt's finishing. It's pointing at my belly button. That's what I want you to check for here. If I've got too wristy on the way through, that butt's gonna point way down towards the ground. Okay, that's your thin shot. If I start to drive too much, not only are you gonna probably take lots of divot, the ultimate, the handle's gonna be way over here, pointing massively in this direction here. The ball will come off too hot, will no, no spin, will go too far. So this is your checkpoint here. Let the base of the club, so we're not gonna take much of a divot, base of the club at the ground, and let it point directly at your belly button here. Your hips and your torso look should be all beautifully in line here. Notice I point towards you look. Everything look, the hips, torso, my arms are all in front of my body here. I haven't twisted round. I haven't smashed my arms out, out racing the body. Everything look is working beautifully in harmony through this shot. How could you work on this though on the practice ground? This is a special bonus step, okay? It works a treat. Grab a tee. Okay, because a lot of people kind of understand some of this, but they sometimes struggle to put it into practice. So grab a T, grab your 56 degree wedge or sand wedge, and what I want to do is this. If you start to drive, okay, what's going to happen, you're going to take that T straight out of the ground, okay? You're going to smash, it's going to, it's going to snap. What I want you to do here is this. I want you to hover the club I want you to practice hitting some balls off a tee so that ultimately here, you're getting the act of picking the club look or picking the ball off the tee through the impact area as opposed to driving that handle and hitting the tee. It's a great way to practice exactly what we've just been working on. Tick, tock. Picked it off, Pews loads of spin, tee still intact, 
And that is how you start to really work on getting the sensation look of this type of action through the impact area, as opposed to adding lots of ball speed and the ball traveling way too fast. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Remember, I put a free downloadable practice guide with all the details in the description box below. Come and join the channel, it's completely free to do so if you haven't by pressing this button right here. And if you want to know in detail how to chip, we talked about pitching here, click this video right here. It will be a real great addition to this one. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.